we are going to jump into our book. So when you hear my thumb, like that, take a jump. Good job, did you say bat, fat, or mat? They're both rhyming words. Hello children, hello children, how are you? How are you? Thank you for tuning in today, thank you for tuning in today, how are you? How are you? Hello my children and thank you so much for tuning in today. How are you? I hope that you're not blue. <gasps> Did you hear those two words? You and blue, they're both rhyming words. That reminds me of our literacy skill today. We're going to be talking about rhyming words. And we have another great read aloud by Kimberly and James Dean. Remember we talked about friendships? Well, you hold on tight because we have another book about friendships. Have you ever went to a new school? or a new neighborhood? Well, in this book, it's going to be about a little guy who actually is going to be going to a new neighborhood. And he's going to try his very best to fit in with his friends. And everybody has so many different talents that they're already aware of. And the new guy's going to be feeling a little less of himself because he doesn't know what his talent's gonna be. But lo and behold, as Kimberly and James Dean continue the storyline, we're gonna find out exactly who that character is and exactly what their special character or their special talent is. So without further ado, did you hear that? <gasps> It's time for our thinking board. Let's learn more about rhyming words. Thinking board, thinking board. Thinking board, thinking board. Hi, frog and dog. So what's rhyming words? Rhyming words are two or more words that have the same or similar ending sound. Bug and rug are rhyming words. They have the same ending sound. Do you know the name of these two pictures? One says pig and one says dig. Listen to those sounds. P -ig, d -ig. Do they sound like they rhyme? Okay, here's our last one. Can you name these two pictures? Did you say blue and two? Oh, you are so right. Let's stretch these two words out. Say them as slow as you can and listen to those sounds at the end. You ready? Blue. Two. Do they rhyme? If you said yes, way to go. We are going to jump into our book. So when you hear my thumb, like that, take a jump. Put both of your feet together and jump as high as you can. And we're going to jump into the book that is entitled Pete the Cat and the New Guy. Ready? Here's a thump. Let's take a jump. It was Sunday and Pete's friends had come to play. They were rocking to a new song when... There was a noise coming from across the street. Wise old Al had a view from his tree. Pete said, hey Al, what do you see? Al said, all I see are green shoes and a red hat. Pete answered, sounds like my kind of cat. Pete could not imagine who this new guy could be. 
I really hope it's a new friend for me. On Monday, Pete wanted to say hi, but he was feeling kind of shy. So he just rode by and by and by and by until he finally got to meet the new guy. Pete said, I've never met anyone quite like you. You seem like a duck and a like a beaver too. The new guy said to Pete, hi, my name is Gus. Glad to meet you. I'm a platypus. Pete said, you're not like me, and I'm not like you, but I think being different is really very cool. On Tuesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Squirrel, who was playing in the tree. Hi, Gus, said Squirrel. Climbing is easy. Try and see. Gus gave the tree a try, but the branch was way too high. I wish I could climb like you, but climbing is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Wednesday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. They came to Pete's friend, Grumpy Toad, who said, Come play leapfrog with me. Jumping is easy. Try and see. Gus jumped and leaped, but he couldn't get over Toad or Pete. I wish I could jump like you, but jumping is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad. Don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Thursday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street. Soon they saw Octopus who said, come juggle with me. Juggling is easy. Try and see. I wish I could juggle like you, but juggling is something I just can't do. Pete said, don't be sad, don't be blue. There is something everyone can do. On Friday, Pete and Gus took a walk down the street Gus said, I can't juggle or jump or climb a tree. It's no fun around here for me. On Saturday, Pete hoped Gus would come out to play. I wish Gus wasn't sad. I wish Gus wasn't blue. I wish there was something we could do. Just then, Pete heard a groovy sound. It was coming from across the street. Gus was rocking to his own beat. Sweet! Pete said, check out Gus the Platypus. He found something cool that he can do with us. Tap the thud. He's not sad. He's not blue. Gus found something that everyone can do. And, and when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly bop. La 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 la. And when the story's over, and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you wanna read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Let's check for understanding. Do you remember what a rhyming word is? Can you tell me something that rhymes with cat? Good job, did you say bat, fat, or mat? Can you tell me something that rhymes with store?
tell me something that rhymes with store. Did you say more or four? Last one. Can you tell me something that rhymes with blue? Way to go. Did you say shoe or two or through? I am so happy you decided to tune in today. Remember next week we will have another episode from the Glam Girl Reads. Until next time. So long.